What's up YouTube? Andrew here with Nautilus Spearfishing. Today we're going to talk about how to rig, load, and operate a spear gun with an open muzzle design while utilizing a spearfishing reel, whether it's horizontal or vertical, doesn't really matter. So we're going to get right into it. We got today Oscar behind the camera instead of JC. Oscar, go ahead and say what's up. Yo, what up? There you go. So it's uh, basically we got a lot of love here. Uh, got a little group of, group of guys here that are good guys have been with us for a long time and uh, we're thankful for that. So anyway, let's get right down to it. Uh, what I have here is an MVD Zesso open muzzle. Now guys, this goes for pretty much any spear gun with an open muzzle design. Uh, you know, Rob Allen's, uh, MVD, Pathos, even some wood guns like you know your Rifes and stuff like that. They're all rigged in a similar fashion. So what happens once you shoot these guns, everything goes off shaft goes off, you know, hopefully you'll have a fish on the other end. A lot of times, believe it or not, we miss. Uh, so your guns generally will float up to the surface. Your shaft is down at the bottom. In between the shaft, you're going to have, of course, your shooting line. So what I like to do is once the gun is, if the gun's still in your hand, you would grab the gun mid-body. You would then, well, first off, you want to pull the shaft up to you, of course. Once you have the shaft and the spear gun in, in each one of your hands, you would put the gun out in front of you just like that and with your uh, middle finger and your thumb you would then pinch the shaft and what you have there is what I call the T technique so you have a T, you're looking at everything, you're looking at your spear gun you're looking at your shaft and look at your shooting line right here so what you would then do with your free hand is you would make sure that the shooting line is facing forward you would then run your hand and the shooting line right above the shaft just like that so now I have my shaft and my shooting line perfectly straight on one hand and my spear gun in the other hand. Since it is an open muzzle design, I don't have to pass it through a bridge as if it were a closed muzzle design. If it was a closed muzzle, you would have to pass it through the bridge. So now, the fact that I don't have one, I just got to make sure that the, sha uh, the shaft runs underneath the bands. A lot of times, newbies or guys just getting into the sport, they'll run the shaft above the bands and that's a problem. You cannot load the gun, you cannot finish rigging the gun. So you would put the, uh, the shaft underneath the bands, line it up on the guide, this gun has a rail on it, and then you would slide the shaft all the way back, in the meantime my hand is still here in the front, all the way back till it locks in the mechanism. What my hand is doing here is preventing the shaft from bouncing off the track. My hand is acting like a support. Now you'll notice the line release on this spear gun is on the left hand side. So we're going to wrap the shooting line under over, under and over the shaft. This is the same for Rob Allen, Rife, uh, you know, uh, Pathos has a little pin on it, and then that goes right into the groove, under and over. If the line release was on the right hand side, I would use the opposite technique. So then once you get it to this point, you would run your shooting line straight shot back to your line release. If you have a single wrap, a single wrap of shooting line, you would be done at this point. This spear gun has two wraps, meaning we have to wrap it a second time. So usually you'll see a little hook or something like that on a spear gun. If it doesn't have one, there's another technique that we call the uh, voodoo wrap, which I have in another video that you guys can check out from a million years ago. And then you would basically come back again and you would go and reach out for that second line release. Now, what happens is this doesn't have a, uh, a shooting line bungee, so I can't really stretch it out over the line release. So what you would do is actually take some line out of the reel hook it back over the, um, the uh, line, uh, line release, I would keep my thumb on it so the line doesn't pop out, and then you would just wind the, uh, the reel back, back to uh, where the line gets nice and taut. Once it gets taut, you would then crank down on the, on the drag knob, and you would call it a day. And that's pretty much it. Once you get to this point, uh, you got to basically load your spear gun, and how do you uh, load these Euro style guns? Usually what I like to do, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but my personal pr uh, way that I do it, I grab the back band first, back band on the forward tab, or the back tab, it doesn't really matter, and then the front band behind it. So I'll run, usually I'll run the, uh, the back band ahead of it, and then the second band, which is the, the band over it, behind it. Okay guys, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps some of you guys just getting into the sport. Maybe it might help some of you guys who've been doing it for a little while. And uh, I guess, you know, that's about it. We'll keep on trying to keep up with the posting. 2022 is going to be a big, uh, big year for us because we're going to redo the entire website. We're going to have a brand new site for 2022. 
stay posted because we're going to have to do a lot of new videos for pretty much every single product that we're adding on to it. See you later.